way hotter than Michelle said. I wonder if he's single. I'm unattached. What? The sensor. Yes or no's? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Have you ever taken narcotics or medication from the ambulance for your own use? No. Kind of a Jake Gyllenhaal thing going on. Since the age of 18, have you committed an undetected crime? No. Have you ever accepted money or gifts for performing your regular duties? No. He's telling the truth. Cute and honest. Do you know what the polygraph examiner is thinking right now? No. How, how would I know that? Crap. Am I that transparent? Well, I like how you slipped in the one about the examiner. I'm just keeping you on your toes and hopefully off mine. Sign there. All right. You are now officially confidential informant number A1138. Low profile. Anyone asks, I'm hijacking your observational skills, the face reading, photographic memory. I don't care. Everything but the truth. Exactly. Tell me I'm not going to regret this. Well, if I take time off work, my bills don't pay themselves. You'll be paid cash from RCI fund. It'll be on a case by case basis. Nice. When do I start? There's the training, the skill assessment, the learning curve. How about right now? The Conservative Party is holding their leadership convention tomorrow. Colonel James Spires and Gordon Legree, the two front runners. Yeah. No, I also read newspapers. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, it's no secret a lot of people despise Legree for his pro-war stance. Recently, there's been a series of threats against him, all anonymous and so far untraceable. And you think that maybe someone's going to fall through on their threats? If I could answer that, I wouldn't need a telepath. Fair enough. Well, how is this undercover exactly? Nobody knows I'm working with the cops. Nobody knows we're working with the cops. I'm working with the cops. You're not getting sucked in on this. Oh, so you get to be Jason Bourne and I'm Johnny Lame Job? Thanks a lot, Senior Buzzkill. All right, look, first of all, you got to pick. Am I Bourne or my I Buzzkill? You could be both. So what are we doing on this thing? Okay, look, we, we take care of the usual skin knees. I read a few minds. You charm the ladies. Bob's your uncle. I don't know what that means. Who's Bob? Look, it's just an expression. All right, here we go. There's the convention center. Also, Bob is not my uncle. It makes no sense. the economy, they'll be good for Canadians, they'll be good for Canadian families. We live in a dangerous world, and burying our heads in the sand doesn't make us any safer. This is just a mouth spray. Put ice on it for 20 minutes, off for 20, repeat, you'll be good Okay? What exactly are you doing out here? I'm just keeping an ear out, an eye out, see if we can get anything off. That's like, what, 300 bucks after taxes? I wonder how they cover this with ice. You're just doing some light summer reading? I mean, your range is increasing, right? Yeah, a little. Why? What about those guys? About 150 feet away, that's got to be a personal best. Four hours over time. Now. Can't get him here. Too open. I can run. I know where. Can't turn back. The gray is mine. Get something? You gotta hit. What kind of hit? I think someone's gonna go after the gray. I heard can't turn back. The gray is mine. You call him McCluskey? I gotta find the gray. Anything I can do? Stay put. Excuse me. For all his posturing as a military man, the truth is Colonel Spires belongs in the Liberal Party with the rest of those waving the white turn back. Hey, stop the the flowers! Message for you. That was the bleeding heart! spilled was fake. Let's make sure the rest of this comes off without any more trouble. 
I'll be on site with Sergeant McCluskey assisting. Are we sufficiently staffed, Sergeant? We've stepped up our presence since the incident, sir. We have to assume that the protesters have more up their sleeves. We're coordinating with a number of police security. We also have eyes and ears through the hallways, uh, surveillance apparatus, and also metal detectors at each entrance. Any other intelligence assets, Corporal? Oh, well, we have a CI on the floor. Someone inside the protest group? No, sir. I have a man on the ground who knows how to spot trouble. He's the one that got us onto the prankster. Not soon enough, it seems. Now, I happen to know both these candidates personally. Let's be sure we don't have another incident. I had him. I just I couldn't get there in time. Well, at least you spotted the threat. So what now? Legree is on the warpath. He's reached out to my superintendent and demanded a larger IIB presence. Okay, so what does that mean? So anything you see or hear... Read. Bring to me and I'll figure out how to deal with it. All right. Got it. Seriously, you got to lift on the knees when you're doing that. Okay, thanks for the much stress. Take care. ceases to amaze me. You're like a telepathic radar. Early warning detection system. The last line of defense this against all foes foreign and domestic. This is what you've been waiting for. Line it up. Only get one shot. Do you see somebody up there? Yeah, two o'clock. He's fixing the lights or something. All dead. Not a lamb. You've got a bullet coming. Bastard. Oh, hey, Toby, talk to him, man. He wasn't fixing the lights. What'd you read? Where'd he go? Where'd who go? Who, who is this guy? He's got a fan Michelle. Are you sure this wasn't another paint balloon? He's got a rifle. He's gonna use it. What? Okay, I'm coming with you. I just gotta pack the rig up. We've searched the catwalks. There's no one there. I know what I saw. So you read a guy thinking about a gun. Does that mean there is a gun? I still don't know how this thing of yours works. You gotta search everybody, you gotta check every room. We do that and the convention is over. That's not my call. You're the witness, you saw the gun, you have to convince my boss, and you have to back him up. Understood? Totes. Yes. Totes is like yes. Mr. Bay. Yeah. So tell me what you saw. Well, on the west end of the building, we, uh, on the catwalk, we saw a guy. Wearing? Wearing uh, beige overalls, baseball hat. Tall, short? I couldn't really tell. Caucasian? Um, black? Latino? Asian? It, 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 was, it was pretty far away. But, uh, he was crouching down in a suspicious manner. Suspicious how? Are you sure it was a man? I saw a gun. You actually saw it? A rifle with a scope. You saw it too? I saw a glint. Well, thank you very much. Your vigilance is appreciated. Uh, Sergeant McCluskey will let you know if we need anything further. Okay. Are you going to tell me why you uh, are wasting your time with these clowns? They reported seeing someone with a gun, sir. With a scope. I got that. Couldn't tell if it was a man or a woman, but they both saw a scope. Come on, McCluskey, are you trying to justify the hire? If Logan says that he saw a gun, then I believe him. Now, you're a guy. He uh, failed to stop an assault. So what does he do? He sees another threat to redeem himself. That's not who he is, sir. 
This convention is going to choose the next leader of the party, may even choose the next prime minister. I'm not going to shut it down based on a couple of overactive imaginations. If there is an imminent threat, bring me the evidence. I don't know, smuggling a balloon full of red paint into a hotel and sneaking a big-ass rifle into a convention are two very different things. No, I know. I, I know what I saw. You saw the guy up there, too. Yeah, but what if he was just daydreaming or something? I mean, you know, you're looking down at the crowd from the catwalk. You think, oh, maybe this is how Oswald felt. I don't know. Right, but this was different. The guy, he had intent. He, he was like he was lining up his target. Well, the guy could be anywhere. I saw and heard when I connected with the guy. Weapon being assembled. Voices say metal lamb. It was all bathed in red light. Okay, metal lamb. Um, in Chinese astrology, it signifies both the years 1931 and 1991. I'm not sure the Asian community is particularly upset with Legree. Is there anything else? Um, the only other reference I get is a metal hair barrette with a cute little lamb design. Maybe he pissed off a bunch of 13-year-old girls. And there's no saving him. Keep digging. Everyone's on alert between IIB and Hall Security. We're going to find this guy, assuming he is there. He's here. I saw him. I'll let you know if I need anything else. Hey, dude, come on. You did your dude, right? You called it in. There's, there's security guards everywhere. Outside is teeming with cops. What more can you do? Huh? Whoa, oh, hey, uh, level C chest pains? Chest pains? Yeah. There it is. Call level C quarter chest pains, uh, loss of breath. Okay, this is level E. Yeah, that's what I said, level E. No, E is an echo. Echo? Oh, no, I, uh, sorry, I meant uh, C, as in Chalupa. Supervisor. He's on his way. Oh, great. Now, would one of you gentlemen like to tell me why one of our confidential informants faked his way into a restricted area? This is bananas. We're not a threat. We came to you. Unfortunately. Sir, if you'll just hand them over to me, I promise this won't happen again. So maybe it wasn't the best idea to go up there. My boss has you pegged as the boy who cried wolf. If only there is a wolf and his intentions were lethal. You, totes, back to the ambulance. You come with me. Okay. Wooden stock? Metal. And vents going down the barrel. No, shorter than this, and the grip was in the middle of the gun. That doesn't sound like a rifle. That's what I saw on his head. There was also two magazines, one in the front, one behind the grip. Very close to that one. Yes? It's it right there. 
Well, that's not some nut job with daddy's hunting rifle. That's some serious hardware. How serious? Only pros walk around with these law enforcement, anti-terrorist squads, military. Spires makes a big deal about having served in Afghanistan. The metal lamb thing, it could be code for a battle op. That feels ex-military. What if, what if Lucree is not the target? What if it's actually Spires? From now on, no assumptions. The target could be on either candidate. This was all a big misunderstanding. Seems to be both of your fortes. Where's Logan? Still filling them in on what he saw. You know, I could have been slicing golf balls into the trees today. How do you think I feel about having to give that up, huh? Not uh, particularly happy. Well, I'm guessing you gentlemen are getting my next round. No, absolutely. My, my, my friend Eric knows this great peeler bar. We head there after work, and uh, it's like... A round of golf, Mr. Bay. Uh, of course. A round of golf. Right. I don't know why I said strip clubs. So they're not even... Shut up. I'm going to walk away now. Cool. That's good. Okay. I'll be here then. I'll just uh, stand here and stop talking. Can I help you? Sergeant McCluskey, IIB. Robert Vento, Chief of Security. Do you have a minute? Mr. Spires isn't available at the moment. We're looking into possible threats against the candidates. Anything that rises to a level of serious concern? Have you ever seen one of these? DSR-1 bullpup. German Army used something like it for base defense up north. You ever seen it used domestically? Trade shows in the States. That's a SWAT weapon. Long distance tool. Very specialized. You were over there with Colonel Spires? Yes, ma'am. Private. Second battalion. We've got a problem. Got a problem. You agree with the Colonel about pulling out of the war? We lost a lot of good people fighting over a useless patch of dirt that wasn't worth dying for. The words metal lamb mean anything to you? How does she know about that? They're all dead, metal lamb. I am not signing this lot. Pick it up! Pick it up! Sorry. No idea. Thank you for your time. He's lying. Yeah, he was thinking about an argument or something. Uh, the struggle in a military tent. It wasn't too clear. Uh, I heard the words, they're all dead, metal lamb. Okay, what's he hiding? These soldiers were in the same unit as Ventone. Did you see any of them when you were bouncing around in his head? I got it right there. That's the guy who's saying metal lamb. Private Scott Flynn. And this is the woman he tangled with when he freaked out. Corinne Romley, his top advisor. You think Flynn's our shooter? Well, that would be some trick. Flynn never made it home, MIA and presumed dead. So, whatever went wrong that day in the desert, this incident you've been seeing, you think that's what's driving the shooter? Spires commanded the unit. He was the one in charge of life and death decisions. Dangerous mission, things go sideways. Flynn blames his commanding officer. Still doesn't explain how he's back from the dead. Let's say he survives. And he makes his way home. And he dedicates himself to one thing. Payback to the man who sent him into battle. Yeah, it's a theory. That's all I got. You got a better one? A discharged troop blames blowhards like the grief for getting us into this mess. I don't know. I'm not ruling anything out. We're here to see Corinne Romley. All for the union, okay? Every deposit, positive. Corrine Romilly, Chief of Staff. Sergeant McCluskey, IIB. We spoke on the phone. Mm -hmm. The kind of frenzy Legree whips his supporters into, we get our fair share of threats. But the good news is, this is the same team that kept the Colonel safe through Kandahar, Kabul, and the Shahi Khat Valley. So I'm sure we can get him through a political convention without incident. I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. Toby Logan. Let me guess, undercover? Can you think of any reason that someone would want Mr. Spires dead? Is this just an overabundance of caution, or is there something you'd like to share with me? What can you tell us about Scott Flynn? What does that have to do with the current situation? Humor us. Private Flynn disappeared on night patrol in Jalalabad. Flynn! I am not signing this lie. They're all dead. Get a grip, soldier! 
We heard enemy fire. He never returned. You have no idea what that can do to a unit. Did they ever find his body? We left him behind. No, don't get up. Excuse me. Say again. What? It's a, a hell of a thing to go off to war. With just a weapon in your hand, a soldier at your side, and one promise that you cling to. If you fall, you will not be left behind. We failed him, pure and simple. Now, I assume this is about that unfortunate attack on Mr. Legree. No, sir, we have a man responsible for that. Good, good. We think there may be a much larger threat against you, Colonel Spires. Really? I'm thinking Spires was there when it all went down. The same incident in the barracks? Yeah, this time I saw bodies lined up on the ground. Enemy soldiers or their own? Uh, not sure. It looked like a family that were covered in sheets. Yeah, well, whatever it was, that puts Spires, Ben Tone, and Corinne Romley together with Private Flynn sometime before Flynn goes missing. I'm gonna get Dev down here. Come with me, I'm gonna need you. Ouch! Why are you using one-inch staples? So it doesn't come off when you're waving it around. Mission accomplished. You know, next time you should just use one of those big foam fingers. Just get it off me, damn it. Mr. Bay, can you explain to this man that we're trying to help him and his attitude isn't helping? What my boss is trying to say is that he's trying to help you and your attitude isn't helping. You ever some crabs as a kid? Here you go. Thank you, sir. All right, I dug this out of the security tapes. Tell me if this is your guy. Yeah, that's him. Beige overalls, baseball hat, huh? He comes out in about a minute. Let me fast forward. You think that could be Flynn? He can't make out his face. He didn't go in with the bag, but he's coming out with it. So he didn't go up there to plant the gun. He went up there to pick it up. Which is how he must have gotten it past security. Dev, alert all units to search for this guy. Finishing a sweep, it's all good. Get a grip, soldier! They're all dead. I am not signing their lies. fire was so close, I could tell. Listen, Sergeant, I want to apologize further. All right, well, maybe you can apologize now for interrupting me. So right. just keep this immobilized as possible. You know, I recommend that you take an x-ray just to make sure. Okay, excuse me. Uh, superficial burns backstage. Yeah, okay. Well, Mr. Bay and I can handle that. Thank you very much, man. It's nice meeting you. You're on duty back here. Yeah, well, you know, cops are probably done with me anyway, so. Yeah. You know, Logan, not that you're asking, but you know where I'd be if I screwed up the way you do? Uh, you probably would be wearing that gray shirt. Right? Probably not gainfully employed. Right. Pain in the neck. No, it's gonna have a little headache. No, I mean you. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know why you and your partner were requested for this detail. I gotta figure there's a reason. All I ask is that someday you tell me what it is. Sure. Flynn's only family is a brother named Jackson back in Edmonton. Still haven't been able to reach him, though. What about the weapon? Uh, there's three SWAT teams in Canada testing the bullpup sniper rifle. London, Quebec City, and Edmonton. I got calls into all three. Okay, well, Flynn is from Edmonton. Why don't you see if there's a connection? Yeah, well, the minute those doors open, hundreds of bodies pile in. It's gonna be a lot harder to find out, guys. Dev, your optimism is always appreciated. How do 
did they get the name? I don't know. Look, she asked me, do the words metal lamb mean anything? God. Should we tell them? No. Take care of it. Hey. Hey. Sorry about you in trouble with your boss. I guess I could say the same thing. Grab a chair, man. Sure. What's going on? I had to circumvent a few firewalls and spoof an IP, but I got to some way deep military records. Metal Lamb is actually Metalam. It's a town 47 clicks northwest of Jalalabad. Impressive. You got your skills? I got mine. 2006 Spires unit was in the area. Here's the official report. While they were patrolling outside a cluster of farms east of the town, Taliban came in and wiped out the farmers. Cable News reported on it a day or so after the incident. Eight bodies all attributed to a brutal Taliban attack. Now, these villagers have all been accused of cooperating with Allied soldiers, something as of yet that has not been confirmed. Two weeks later, Flynn goes MIA. They're all dead, men are lamb. That's, that's what Flynn was talking about, the attack. Uh, it feels like a cover-up. This reeks of a last-minute political smear. Well, I believe there is a dangerous person out there who's motivated by something that happened back in Afghanistan. Is that right? Why did Flynn let you down back in Metterlam? He didn't let us down. We let him down. What do you mean? I'm sitting here. He isn't. We murdered those people. Jackson, it's Scottish. I'm in deep here. Look at the Metterlam! We know Flynn was making satellite phone calls back home. He told someone what happened. He wasn't supposed to be making calls, was he? How do they know all this? I'm being set up. Who was he calling? He wasn't married. Vendome. Selling me down the river. You don't want to end up wearing all of this. You gotta tell the sergeant everything. He had an older brother who lived in Edmonton. He called him every week on satellite phone. It was his emotional lifeline. So he told him what he saw. We didn't talk about what we saw over there. I wish I could forget what I saw. We were chasing phantoms. And you thought you found them. Stop now, stop. Don't say another word. Benton says you were responsible, that it was your call. That's a lie. We had intelligence reports. We had reliable intelligence reports. There were. They were holed up in that farmhouse. So there wasn't any Taliban fighters in that farmhouse, was there? Flynn wouldn't go along with the cover-up. He was a stand-up guy. Look at the metal lamp! You know Colonel Spire shot Flynn. And you're covering up for him. You've got to stop protecting him. You don't understand. It was an accident. Well, if you ask me, neither one of these mothers is worth voting for. Yeah. You know, a lot of probabilities being what it is. I guess one of them has to win this thing, right? Mm. It's like choosing between mayonnaise and white bread. I really like mayonnaise. You know, I should go into politics. You should, sir. Yeah, I got something to say. Yeah, you were totally full of opinions, yeah. And you know what? You'd have my vote right off the bat. You're patronizing me, Mr. Bay. No. Oh. Contact Klein and the military prosecution service. Find out how we proceed on this thing. What about Spires? Do we wait until after the convention? Uh, first, I want to hear everything you have. Well, the uh, MIA soldier's brother, Jackson. Yeah. Turns out he's a 12-year vet of the Edmonton police. He's a SWAT team sniper. He spent the last four years lobbying both the military and politicians to look into his brother's death. But nothing came of it, no doubt. They shut him down. His last few emails accused the army of cover-up. Sir, um, Flynn was on the phone with his brother telling him about the attacks when he was killed. Uh, that's not all. 
Uh, the brother took a leave from the Edmonton police four weeks ago. They haven't been able to reach him, but they just sent me his photo. Are you telling me we have a SWAT sniper gone rogue and no one can find him? There's got to be a list of everyone who's authorized access to the convention hall. I already crossed rough names, but now I can plug in the facial recognition. It, it'll just take me a sec. Okay, why don't you go back down to the convention floor and see if you can get anything? Sure. Okay. Uh, um, not good. Uh, Jackson Flynn used an assumed name. He's working security. His temporary assignment three weeks ago. Leave him. Well, that explains why our sweeps keep coming up empty and why he had free reign to come and go. We're an hour away from the doors opening. Get the word out now. I want every cop in this building checked. I want this man found. And until he is, this convention does not go forward. We have to keep spires away from the convention floor. It's the sniper's kill zone. Uh, too late. Um, that looks like an impromptu press conference. That's going out live. We need to get down there. Alert our people on the floor. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions in this campaign about what we intend to do financially. Well, we've come up with a bunch of it. Keep looking. I wanted 20 on every security guard in the building. Let's do this quietly. I don't want chaos on national television. They'll be good for Canadian families. We're looking into universal child care. says he has a plan. We haven't heard anything, you, sir. Don't do it, Jackson. Your brother wouldn't have wanted this. Spires murdered him. Thank you very much for your time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very sorry. You've proved your point. Step away from the weapon. He has to pay for what he did. His fires buckled under the pressure. Scott didn't. He stayed true to his oath as a soldier. I heard him dying. I know you did. This isn't going to bring him back. Step away from the weapon. If you love your brother, don't dishonor him. There's going to be a military investigation. The truth will come out. We're good. The superintendent has agreed to let me keep confidential informant A1138 discreetly. All right. So he didn't ask any questions. As long as he gets results, he doesn't want to know anything. The army has reopened the case on the Metter Lamb incident. They're also looking for Flynn in Afghanistan. For now, they're classifying it as friendly fire. And what about Karine Romney's statement? Military investigations are slow and behind closed doors. But you know what? It's going to take a while. We'll keep the pressure on, and we're going to nail Spires. Can you believe that guy almost became our next prime minister? A good thing about politics is close doesn't count. Right. Horseshoes, darts. I feel the rain, the rain is lifting. Look to the sky, the clouds are shifting. Oh, and another beer for you. Oh, I'm going to switch to water. Oh, it's what's wrong. You've never met a brew you didn't like. No, I, know. I just want to start taking a little bit better care of myself. You know, I can't back you up at work if I'm hungover. True. Yeah. Well, why can't you turn over this new leaf tomorrow? That would be much better. Why? What's the difference? Hey, come on in. Hi. Hey. Hey, Sandy. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm here to play cards. Didn't Toby tell you? Slipped my mind. Where's Olivia? She's on her way. 
Whoa. What would you bring here? Oh, I've got um, brie, cranberry, jalapeno jelly, and saltwater crackers. And what is wrong with chips? I don't do junk. Sue me. What I need is a drink, because this infidel is calling my name. Can I pour you some? Well, he can't. He's, uh, he's turning over a new leaf. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, I am turning over a new leaf uh, from beer to wine. So this is perfect. Antioxidants, right? Excellent. Why don't you pour yourself a glass and then get me a straw for the rest? Woman after my own heart, Sandy Wardwell. Nice. I just haven't been caught yet.